Why, hello there. Would you like some candy? <laughs> hello, folks! My name is Rojo, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I think, um... We probably want to go back to our bonfire. Uh, last time, we did a lot of exploration out in this area. I'm realizing, actually, I missed some, some items. I think I literally just walked by a bunch. Maybe like that Titanite shard right there as a uh, singular example. But, uh, yeah, let's go... Let's go back this way for a sec. Uh, back this way even further. Yeah, there's another item that I missed. <laughs> we'll take this. Soul of a deserted corpse. Sure, why not? And I think I missed another one over here. I literally just walked right by it. Or, like, I killed a couple guys and just fucking turned around. Which will probably infuriate some people. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, the, the safe way to kind of get down to that other area. While I safe, I say safe in a very loose uh, sense. We're going to get ambushed here. By at least one guy. Maybe two? Just one. Alright. You can see there's, like, a ton of... Bodies here that look, kind of looks like Lothric Knight armor. I'm not sure though. And then we got this blue fatty. <laughs> Time for tongue butt hole. I mean, it's not wrong. Uh, what is uh, what does this one get? Don't give up, fatty. Yeah, man, don't give up. He's only got like a spear through his fucking neck, so you know, I'm sure, I'm sure he's fine. Uh, now then, this guy. We would like to run past this guy for the time being. And then we'll come back and get the items, but there's a shortcut I want to try to unlock here. And, uh, we're not going to be able to do that if we fight that guy, basically, is what it comes down to. I don't know if he'll chase us or not. Oh, yeah, there's a guy on the stairs there. Let's not allow that to continue. Actually, we better kill this guy first. All right. Now we'll kill you. Very good. All right, so now we can actually come through here. Secret passage ahead? I doubt it. That's what I thought. There is actually some treasure up here. Uh, we'll come back and get all this stuff, though. Not to worry. Not to worry. So, uh, yeah, we're going to come through here. And uh, I think we're going to run past this guy. There's a little bit of an ambush here. But mostly right now we're just interested in this elevator. Because uh, it's going to open up a shortcut and make it a little bit easier for us to kind of get back to where we were. Uh, a little, little bit less fighting on the way. Actually get a little bit of extra stuff here as well. Some throwing knives are okay. Remember the door that wouldn't open. Uh, well, we have, we have now opened it. I'm going to uh, retreat from this fight and hope the dogs don't chase me down too bad here. But uh, we may not... Really get the option to get away here. We'll see. At least if we do die, we'll die next to the bonfire. There we go. All right, we made it. All in the clear. Uh, let's actually... Let's go back to Firelink just briefly and spend some souls, I guess. Just uh, in case we, we botch it here. Okay. Uh, I don't think anybody has anything new to say, but we'll ask... What a sick oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, we're interested probably primarily in leveling up. Uh, we do have actually a couple items that we can check out too. Um, like this Estus flask shard. A shard soaked in Estus, gift to the blacksmith, blah blah blah. In the old days, it was so rare to see an Estus flask far from its owner, but this shard offers hope, however shattered. This is, uh, the end of the Legion of Farron are remembered for using this annual plant, no more, normally found near clear water, to swing their mighty swords with abandon. Um, under the Legion, of course, being one of the Lords of Cinder that we we're trying to track down. Um, yeah, I think we've checked out that stuff. We haven't looked at this, actually. We got this recently. Uh, Titanite altered by a soul. Weapons forged by soul transposition can only be reinforced by a titanite of the same kind. So soul transposition, we'll learn about a little bit later in a, in a future episode. Uh, in rare cases, crystal lizards devour souls, growing to monstrous proportion and leaving these great scales. So those big crystal lizard guys that I, we fought in the first episode are literally big crystal lizards. <laughs> um, 
Titanite shards are fragments of the legendary slabs, all caps there, or not all caps, but capitalized. Uh, titanite is etched into weapons to reinforce, and then we get this raw gem. Gem of infused titanite, forged the weapons of Lothric foot soldiers, used in infusion to create raw weapons. Raw weapons are easily wielded, but have higher and have higher attack, but lose scaling effects. We're going to re rely on uh, this raw gem, probably, in the not-too-distant future. Um, for now... I'm interested. Does she sell arrows? She does. I'm going to actually buy all the arrows I can. It's not that expensive. And I think it'll make her life a little bit easier. Um, I don't think we need anything else here right at the moment, though. So I'm not going to worry about that. One. Yep, we know about the souls, uh, and then we might as well level well, up a little bit here, Very well. uh, as best we can. Then take. So, probably two levels here, yeah. Uh, let's get... I think our, our, like our attack stats are probably fine. I'm mostly interested in, at the moment in increasing our HP, I think. Um, you can actually see, am I getting diminishing returns already? Getting 32? 32, is that right? I think so, yeah. 32 and then 37, or 35. Hang on. That's odd. Well, whatever. <laughs> I'm still gonna do it. Well, uh, yeah, we'll take that HP. And, uh, I don't think there's anything else we really need to do right now. I'm not gonna upgrade the Uchi Katana. So, we'll, uh... We'll move on and go back to, I think, High Wall is the uh, bonfire that we're interested in here. And then we can use our shortcut to kind of get back, and we'll pick up some of the treasures that we left behind. As well as go fight the fat man, because there's definitely a bunch of stuff where he was. So yeah, we actually want to go this way now. Uh, but we have the distinct advantage of being able to ignore pretty much all of these enemies. There, there's a chance that Axeman comes over and, yeah, tries to do that bullshit. He might even jump down here, which would be annoying. He... He doesn't uh, take any falling damage, so <laughs> it's pretty bad when that happens. But, uh, yes, yeah, praise the lift and then praise the sun, sure. Um, alright, in here. Kill this guy, but <laughs> then there's so many more. So many more enemies, all of a sudden. Not very tough enemies, mind you, but still. Oh, deserter trousers. Um, let's see. This musty, rusted hunk of metal befits one reduced to thievery. Well, we probably aren't going to wear those. I don't think there's any reason for us to wear those right at the moment. Uh, yeah, let's grab this. More green blossoms are okay. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we want to go this way. Now, actually, there is one more item that we can check out. We got the cell key. Uh, key to a cell holding thieves and the like. There is no shortage of brash thieves in Lothric, and these particular thieves likely scaled the wall from the undead settlement. But, they are only willing to practice their thievery on the high wall, for their fear of Lothric Castle, rumored to devour men, keeps them clear of its grounds. So we need to find out where to use this key, and we will do so for certain in this episode. Um, let me think, what's the best way to jump over there? I think I can make it from here. I don't think I want to jump down on that other banister or whatever it is. Yeah, we got a Ring of Sacrifice. Uh, we're not going to wear this, but... Uh, it's just like it is in the other games, lose nothing upon death, but ring breaks. Rings do have a, uh, a weight in this game. Uh, but this mystical ring was created in a sacrificial rite of Velka, the goddess of sin. It's where we lose nothing, nothing upon death, blah, blah, blah. Sacrifice is only worth as much as the life it spares, which is not worth very much to us right now. What's up, buddy? I actually was surprised he got staggered there. I wasn't sure if that would happen. Oh, we did get the backstab. Nice. And swing. I am going to guess that we can probably parry this guy. He has insane, nasty, sick, dirty range, though. It's real bad. Oh, wrong attack. Let's try to let's try to parry him if we can get some space here. There are other enemies here. Um, let's... Yeah, I was way too slow there. Or way too early. Yeah, alright. Fair enough. <laughs> we, uh... Oh, fuck you. Fuck that attack. All day. Alright, let's finish this up. I'm, I'm imagining he probably can be parried, but I do not know the timing to do so whatsoever. 
So we've acquired an ember there, and we have an ember here, which is pretty good. Um, a lot of knights dead here. Presumably killed by him? I mean, I don't really know. I thought there was another enemy down here somewhere. Yeah, he's right here. Can't fool me, man. The rapier. Say, uh... Oh, it's more firebombs. Rapier is a probably a decent weapon as well. Uh, kind of like a smaller... Worst version of the Aztec. Who the fuck was just making that noise at me? I will destroy you. Don't know. Very well. This guy is... Did this guy even get stabbed? Yeah, I guess he did once. I don't know what the rest of these are doing here, though. Um, let's see. I don't think there's anything else here. Doesn't look like it, so let's move on. I think this is... Uh, let me just double check. Did I pick up the treasure back here? Uh, down the ladder? I think I did. Can't imagine that I didn't anyway. Uh, yes, I have picked it up. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's go this way and we'll see who we can find over here. First, I guess we'll probably want to kill this gentleman just so he doesn't shoot that shit at us. And then we're going to go ahead and kill this gentleman. And then uh, we're going to probably die to some Lothric Knights. Oh, we just got a free Estus. I don't know why that happens, but it does sometimes. Um, I think our plan here is simply put going to be to get uh, someone's attention and then fucking blow him up with soul arrows until uh, we don't have any FP. <laughs> Especially if he's not going to bother to block. Let's make our life that much easier. It's one down. And oh, I have... Uh, what have I done? Uh, oh, have I... I've switched my arrows somehow? Standard arrow? Oh, right, because we were using... Um, Standard arrows, but we actually bought wood arrows, which are a little bit worse. That's right. All right. No big deal. Didn't mean to shoot that, but that's okay. There we go. And yes, we will... Oh, God. Not spook. Not spook, you idiot. Uh, I don't think we're going to be fucking fooling anybody with uh, a use of spook like that. Go. You can see why... Uh, Picking up Soul Arrow was something I was interested in early on. Just makes just makes our life that much easier. For these first uh, few areas, we won't be relying on it like in my first LP where I went heavy int. Alright, so now that we've cleared those guys out, you can see there's another knight up there, but we, we don't have any Estus, we don't have any... Uh, any uh, FP, so I don't think I'm going to tangle with him just yet. We can check this out instead. Go back outside, I guess. We can kind of see. There's uh, some of these, these uh, I guess, pilgrim guys from the intro. Can't really see anything in their in their hoodie there. But, uh, yeah, they're all dead outside the, um, outside the thing here. Time for ally. That is not relevant to us. Um, <clears throat> let's, let's see here. We will have a chat with this lady here. Let's take a look at her. Oh, she's, there we go. She's got eyes and stuff. You also notice, look at this. This is a, uh, looks like the knight's trying to slit his own throat here. It was a little bit of a strange, strange thing to, to think about doing. Ah. Uh. The wait has been long, unkindled one. I am Emma, High Priestess of Lothric Castle. Allow me to speak frankly. You will not find the Lords of Cinder here. They have left, gone, to their journey homes converging at the base of this castle. Head to the bottom of the High Wall, forge on through the Great Gate, and raise this banner to proceed. Okay, so we needed that, for sure. Um, interesting note about the churning lands. That's why I said in an earlier episode that, uh, you know, there's probably some space-time continuum bullshit going on here. 
but it's hard to say for certain, but we'll see some interesting stuff kind of as we play through regarding these lands. Uh, this farewell gift is for you. It is the insignia of an old covenant. If you fear trespassers, dark spirits drawn by the embers, then etch this upon your heart, and the old concord will beckon noble blue sentinels to hunt these foul spirits. All right, our first covenant, the Way of Blue. Very much from Dark Souls 2, I believe. Unkindled one, head to the high wall's base. Go through the great gate, but beware. The dog keeps a close eye on things. The vile watchdog of the Boreal Valley. That's good advice. Unkindled. All right, that's all she's got for us. Let's um, just check out this covenant real quick. You can act, The way covenants work now, you actually equip them, which is kind of a nice touch, so you don't have to dick around traveling everywhere to try to rejoin covenants. Uh, pale blue sheepskin parchment. Featuring an illustration of the moon, a symbol of an ancient accord. Members of the Way of Blue are the beneficiaries of an ancient accord. When a dark spirit threatens them, a blue spirit will grant them assistance and help to root out the invader. Um, basically, if we equip this and we get invaded, there's a chance that we will get somebody from another covenant called, um, I think, the Blue Sentinels. Uh, just, to, just like in Dark Souls 2. And uh, yeah, they'll come, and, they'll come and help us. But uh, we don't need to worry about that right this second. Now, I think what I'm going to do here is I would like to get the treasure that's over here, but I don't want to fight the knight. So, there's also actually another guy over here who is extremely strong. We'll, we'll come fight him again, or well, for the first time, I guess, rather. We'll fight him later. I, uh, I don't want to tangle with him right now with half HP and no Estus. Where is this? Yeah, this, here's the treasure. You just do your thing, and I'm just going to do my thing, and everything's going to be great. Thank you. We got the Lucerne. A uh, sort of like staff, polearm, hammer looking thing. I guess it's more like a fork. I think is how it describes itself. Um, yeah, we're not going to use the Lucerne, I don't think, but uh, we have it. Now, there is some more stuff down there, but we're, we're in pretty rough shape, and there is more that we would like to do... Um, sort of in a different area. So what I think we do is, uh, let's, let me think, what's the fastest way to do this? Probably to Homeward Bone. Actually, another nice touch. Check this shit out. You can actually, um, put things on this tool belt. Uh, we're going to remove all this stuff. We're going to switch out the dark sign for Homeward Bones. And, uh, then we're going to be happy that we did, simply put. <laughs> um... It's just a, a nice touch, especially once your inventory starts to get uh, super full. It doesn't really matter what bonfire we go to, because I think we're going to go to a different bonfire ultimately anyway. Because uh, we need to find a way to use the cell key, basically. But to do that, I think we want to go back to the tower on the wall. I think. I could be terribly mistaken about this. That tower key that you're looking at, important item. We'll uh, we'll discuss the tower key a little bit more in the uh, in the future. For now, we're not going to worry about it because uh, it's fairly expensive to acquire. Right, I forgot about you. My apologies. All right, come down here and do a little running attack against. Oh, excuse me. I was going to do a running attack against this guy, but. Fucking whiffed it pretty hard there. Where's this other guy? There he is. There we go. Kill you. Uh, now, you recall we didn't go down this way, and that is because uh, we would have sort of come to a uh, bit of an impasse. I want to try to... Uh, I want to try to do some pairing. Oh, so good. Nice. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, he's not dead. <laughs> there you go. Uh, the slash didn't do quite as much damage as I expected. Oh, and he gave us a halberd, too. That's pretty nice. Let's, um, let's get out the torch and take a look. Oh, we do have this. This is locked. Very uh, interesting. We'll find a key for that eventually. I would uh, imagine. 
But uh, also, we want to come in here pretty quickly because this guy throws fire bombs, and those barrels over there will absolutely explode. <laughs> so it's uh, it's a nasty trap. So throwing knives are okay. I never really use throwing knives, but uh, I'm not gonna complain to have them. I guess. We always sell them if we get in a real pinch for whatever they're worth. The mail breaker is a uh, sort of like a uh, dagger of sorts. Uh, da -da -da, mail breaker. Has a shield splitter just like our S-Doc. Um, and a little bit better crit uh, rate, I think. Or actually, maybe... Oh, no, yeah. I was looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, pretty good crit. Um, 130. Not sure what that means by the numbers specifically, but... It's definitely better than the katana. Uh, is there anything down here? Doesn't look like it. Nothing here, no. Very well. All right. Well, in here we have a table and a jail cell with somebody in it. Luckily, we happen to have a cell key. What's up, mon frere? Ah. You're no jailer, are you? No, no, you're from far away. And judging by the bell, you must be some of that unkindled ash. Remarkable. If that's true, then I have a favor to ask. Below the high wall is a musty little town, not the home of any lord, just a, a very old settlement of undead. An old woman, Loretta, lives there. Please, give her this ring. I, I'm not asking for charity. In fact, in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. I, I may be a petty thief, but I've more wits than most royalty. What do you say then? Huh? Um, do we want to throw in with a petty thief? <laughs> he seems like an okay guy. And it's a simple-ish request. We are sort of going in that direction anyway, I suppose. Uh, let's grant the request. Very well. I humbly place my faith in you. I am Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement. And I promise to assist you. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Do your part and I'll do mine. Blue tear stone ring. It's not very good. <laughs> Put simply, a ring set with a large rare tear stone jewel temporarily boosts damage absorption when HP is low. Uh, this stone is said to be a tear of sorrow from the goddess Katha, and of course, tears are always more beautiful near death. We will equip it because there's no reason to not, other than I think we're gonna fat roll. Yeah. By the way, the uh, the way the rolling works in this game, a little bit of mechanics discussion here is once you're at. Uh, if you're at or below 70%, you can still roll decently well. Uh, but if you're 30% or below, uh, you roll farther, I think is how it goes. I think the iframes are still the same, but the, uh, yeah, you just, you just get a little bit more distance. So we're rocking the deserter trousers. I guess we might as well since we had these pants. <laughs> but yeah, we've saved Grey Rat and he just pieces out. Why? I mean, like, it seems like he uh, had a homeward bone or something. And he could have left at any time, but, you know, whatever, it's fine. Now then, what do we do next? I think we uh, go back in the other direction here. Might as well rest at the bonfire again. It's probably faster to teleport. Back to where we were, and then uh, we're going to go back down that hill, I think. Uh, by the uh, cathedral there. And we'll see if we can get there without using all of our Estus this time. <laughs> that would be ideal. So, we'll come over this way. Have a bit of a rest. And, uh, let's see here. Uh, High Wall of Lothric. We're gonna go take our shortcut again, of course. All right. So, uh, we want to come... Actually, you know what? There is actually a little bit more stuff over here that I missed, too, I think. Let's do this real quick. Just want to take a second. 
to uh, to do this. Probably want to kill this guy though. Yeah, there we go. You shut up. Kill you. Uh, I'm out of stam. That's my that's my issue here. Go over here and uh, grab whatever's up here. Uh, right. Priest guy is what's up here. There we go. All right, so we're safe from all of these guys waking up on their own. We kill them sort of at our leisure now. Whoop! Didn't uh, didn't quite get that guy though. There we go. Much better. Yeah, there's a little bit of stuff down here uh, that we're interested in grabbing. Come over here and see what's up these stairs at least. Oh, ambush is the answer. We just got spattered with all kinds of blood, I think, or something. It's gross. There we go. We got him. All right. Up here we have... Oh, the binoculars. Sure, we'll, um... We'll put the binoculars on our... On our tool belt here. Basically, it's just a, uh... Item that lets us scope stuff out. With a, a little bit more ease than the bow, I think maybe it maybe has a little bit more zoom as well. But, uh, yeah, just a, a kind of a nice fluff item, basically. Alright, so now we're actually going to come over here. You, you probably noticed uh, in that other room, I didn't pay much attention to it, but there's a treasure that we could not uh, access. But if we come down here, indeed, we can now access it. Some golden pine resin. Something that could be useful in the not too distant future here. Alright, so these guys are still alive. Kill you. And we're gonna go back to the bonfire just briefly here. And this is is this the way? Yes, this is the way. Alright. Go back to the bonfire just briefly. And come down here like so. Alright. Uh, there is one more thing we can probably read, too. Uh, these spells. Uh, this one doesn't have much on it, but this one does. Sorcery developed by a certain surreptitious sorcerer at Binheim Dragon School. Masks noise of the caster and prevents fall damage. Their mastery of this sorcery alone allows Vinheim spooks to demand handsome payment for their services. So this is the spell that I wanted to start with. It's just a nice, convenient spell to have. And uh, it sort of combines uh, fall control with... Ah... Uh, Hush, I think it is, um, from Dark Souls 1 and 2. But yeah, we're going to go down here now. I didn't do myself the favor of bringing the elevator back up, so we're going to have to fight this one guy, probably. Just a little bit of an annoyance here. A little bit of an annoyance, but uh, we should be able to handle this. There we go. Probably going to want to get some stand before too long. I'm not going to worry about Estesing just yet, either. Okay, so we do that, and then I think we send that back up just in case we die down here somehow. Just going to run past this guy, and really run past just about everybody. For the most part here. Ooh, a little bit, a little bit closer than I would like. What's this? Who is this? The Traveler. Is that a... Uh See, the thing is, I don't know who the NPC phantoms actually are. Um, I uh, I don't want to use phantoms, but apparently you can get gestures from phantoms. So I'll tell you what, maybe what we'll do is we'll call it an episode here. And, um, yeah, like Lion Knight Albert. I don't know, it seems like there could be NPCs. Lucky Ted? Maybe not. Hey, there's another lucky guy. All right, I'm into that. What's up, man? Yeah! Pretty cool, alright. So, yeah, maybe that's what I'll do before before we uh, come down here, because there is a boss fight coming up, uh, as you probably expected, but we'll save it for next episode. And, uh, yeah, I'll see if there are any summon signs that I should be on the, on the lookout for, uh, just, uh, just to get gestures. Uh, but then we'll unsummon them before we actually do the boss, because I uh, would prefer to do it without summons, I think. So until next time, man, we are just covered in shit. <laughs> until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.